Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to spin for our last Tiny Town member. I really want Frank. I really want Frank, so I'm going to manifest. No! Oh my god. Alright. So I got Cypress. I knew this was going to happen. That's fine. I really want to play Frank, but I'm going to do Cypress. No big deal. I hope you guys are doing well. I am starting Tiny Town with Cypress. So you guys, I may have been a little bit harsh on poor Cypress over here. He actually, after I did a little, just a tiny change on him, you know, changed the hair, gave him a skin detail. His outfit it wasn't working for me. So I gave him a little bit something different. He's cute. I'm feeling it. I don't know why I was tripping so hard on him. Cypress is going to be fun. We're going to make it happen. He's already hungry, though. But you know what? We're just going to get something to eat. No big deal. So while he's over here getting something to eat, I'm going to tell you guys why um, I think having Cypress is going to be a good thing. We're going to be able to make things to sell on the seller's table. And yeah, I think it'll be fine. We already have a seller's table. That's a community one. So I don't think he's going to be as difficult as I thought he was going to be. I just really like the idea of gardening. But that's fine. We are going to make it work. We're going to go ahead and see what we can do over here. What do we got to sell? Well... We've already got some crystals. What is this? An opal? Well, you know, this should get us started. Yes. What is this? This is a candle or something. All right, and that's what we have. So what can we do with 141? We got to start off with a good old horse sculpture. I don't know why he is sparkling. But okay. Oh, I guess it's from the lot traits. So I did put a few lot traits on. I gave him homey and home studio. And he likes handiness, so he's happy. And whatever he ate in his little cooler over here has made him happy. So. I'm not going to be mad that he is in a good mood. We love that. But yeah. He's a handsome dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Cypress, chill. You ain't got to flex on us. But yeah, so I am going to craft a couple of these. And then I'll check back in with you guys once he has a couple of items for a yard sale. I mean, he's already making normal quality work, so I'm pleased. Let's just make another. Let's keep making them. All right, so it says, nothing makes Cypress more happy than the feeling of being prepared. Okay. Should he confess that he likes the outdoorsy style? Sure. We're going to be outdoors for a little while. Now, he is tired and hungry and lacking social. And supposedly, there's a welcome wagon. And I don't know where they are. So, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> okay. So, Cypress. Let's get some cereal. And go to sleep. And then, when he wakes up, we're going to have that yard sale. So, instead of having the yard sale right away... I decided to have him make a mirror because he reached level three of the handiness skill. And now we only have $14. So yeah. after he makes this, we have to have a sale. All right. So we made a few horse sculptures and a knife block. Oh, we're already marked up to 300%. Maybe we'll do 200 because 300, sometimes they don't buy. We need buyers. All right, he don't like it. Whatever. That's fine. Come on, Beatrice. I know you want something. Opal, come on. Yes. No? Okay. Why do you not like us, Opal? That don't make any sense. We don't... 
We didn't do anything to Opal. Alright, so that didn't go as expected. I sold absolutely nothing. So we're doing it again. And let's go down to 100%. Alright, so I gotta tell y'all something funny. So we sold the other three items. And now, while this looks weird, this is one of those big garden. So I got a mod that lets you put more items on the cellar table for the woodworking station. It's from Little Miss Sims or something. Or Little Miss Sam? I don't know. I'll put it down in the description. But this mod is really cool because normally you can't put these on the table, but her mod allows you to do so. And it's worth 150 So if we can actually get someone to buy this, we'll make a nice profit. <laughs> but it does look ridiculous. But, I mean, hey. It's better than just selling it in his inventory. Awesome! Someone bought it for two forty. Now we don't have anything else. I don't think I'm gonna check. But this mirror that I created, I don't know that I can put that on the table. No, I can't. So this I am gonna have to sell directly in his inventory. So we already have eight hundred dollars. I am not mad about it, but Cypress, he needs to take care of his needs, and then we'll catch up with you guys when we're back to crafting. So we are now making an end table, and I think with that mod, I can put the end table on the seller's table, so we'll find out, but I think I can. <laughs> so, yeah. We're just going to finish a couple of items and then we'll have a yard sale. So my thought is it would be nice if he, when he doesn't need money so badly that he'll be able to craft items for his own house. That is the plan. Not everything's going to be crafted, but I think a few signature pieces would be nice. Like that mirror he created and just some other items would go well in his house. Okay, so we made this wall hanging. It's poor quality though, so I'm just gonna sell it. And then we have an end table that I think I can put on this table. And I have my sculpture. So I'm gonna have a yard sale before he goes to sleep. I wonder if I can mark this up to back to 200%. Oh, we sold out. Love it. Now we can rest. All right. So now that we have like a little over $2,400, we're going to get started on building his house. All right. Let's go ahead and clear out this area. I'm going to get him a toilet. So we don't need that. And I don't need this box. So we'll get rid of that. I'll keep that area over there. I don't know if I'm going to need the tent, but we'll find out. So we'll just scooch this over. Now, what I'm going to do is take away the money that these two squares cost. All right, so now we have paid for those squares. We're just going to move this house closer to the middle now, I don't want to go overboard because he doesn't have a lot of money just yet so this is gonna do for now let me open up the space here so his style is more of a rustic farmhouse vibe so there's a couple of ways I could go about this. Um, that's kind of orangey. So here's our options. That's a little too pumpkin-y for me. So, so far I like that. All right, so we're gonna go with this wood for now. We just need a door. Uh, ooh, I like this door. 
so this is what I got to start with. It is a university door and some wood paneling. <laughs> I am at a loss, you guys. I don't even know. I'm not mad at that window, but am I going to use it? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know what? And we're going to use this university window. We'll do that. And then let's just see what orange we have. We need something that's not going to cost too much. But looks like, yeah, everything's at least $4. Dang, that wood's expensive. What about this one? This one's $8. That's $4. We'll use that for now. Now we just need some lighting. And don't worry, this whole house is not going to be orange. It just seems that way right now. Alright, so this is what we have so far. We have placed the cooler inside. We have a sink and a toilet. Uh, I think I can get rid of this fence. I don't need it. And... Hmm... I think I'll put his workbench over here. And this one over here. And get rid of this area too. That'll give us some money. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to get rid of the tent. Because I can afford a bed. Mmm... Let's get the full ride scholarship bid. <laughs> so we only have $140. I can't afford a shower yet. This is essentially all he needs, right? So let's just do some roofing. Just changing the color of the roof. I didn't want to show you guys the whole fight with that. Alright, so this is where we're going to leave part one of Cypress. He now has a little bit of a house. So this is what we've got going for him. Just a little tiny thing. I like it so far. Surprisingly, since I don't like the color orange, I'm pleased. I'm going to have him go inside. But yeah, so if you're enjoying this series go ahead and leave a comment um like subscribe it really helps my channel grow and me and cypress will see you in part two very soon bye